Hello there, welcome to the first video of Asexual Awareness Week. My name is Kai, I am asexual, and I will be guiding you through the basics of asexuality in a video every single day this week. What is asexuality? An asexual person is a person who does not experience sexual attraction. Most people find that there are certain genders they're not sexually attracted to. For example, a heterosexual man is not sexually attracted to other men. For asexual people, this just means everybody. There is not a gender that they are sexually attracted to. And of course, asexuality isn't black and white. It exists on a spectrum just like any other orientation. So there are people who are entirely asexual and will never experience sexual attraction, and there are people who identify further along the scale towards allosexual or people who are not asexual. A common misconception is that asexuality is the same thing as celibacy or abstinence and it's not. Celibacy is an act of choice to not have sex, and there are quite a few asexual people out there who have sex for a variety of reasons, so not the same thing. Even for ace people who don't have sex, a lot of them don't consider themselves celibate for the same reasons a gay man wouldn't consider himself celibate if he abstained from having sex with women. If you're not attracted to those people, it's not really difficult to abstain from having sex with them. Like any orientation, there's no cause of asexuality. People don't become asexual because of a bad experience. Although, of course, there may be some people who have had bad experiences in the past and they feel more comfortable identifying as asexual because of that. That's completely fine. But for the majority of asexual people, there's nothing that made them this way. It's just their sexual orientation. Same as people who are gay, or heterosexual, or bisexual, or pansexual. There is actually no evidence to suggest that asexuality is caused by a hormonal imbalance or deficient sex drive, and of course I'm not a doctor, but if you do experience sudden changes in these things, maybe consult one. There's also no data to support the existence of a connection between a person's sexual orientation and any mental illness they may have. People aren't gay because they're mentally ill, people aren't asexual because they're mentally ill. Those are both valid sexual orientations. Get over it. I will go deeper into these topics in future videos, but as a last point, sex drive is not the same thing as sexual orientation. Action is not the same thing as attraction. You can choose to have sex with someone you're not sexually attracted to. That goes for anyone. There are a whole bunch of reasons that people who are asexual may decide to have sex or participate in sexual activity, and that's okay, and that doesn't change their sexual orientation at all. On the other hand, there are plenty of asexual people who have never had sex, have no interest in having sex, and will never have sex. And that's also fine. You don't need to have sex with any gender to figure out that you're not attracted to them. We don't tell straight people that they should have gay sex just to try it, so there's no reason why you should tell an asexual person that they need to try sex before they can really know that they're asexual. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone you think needs to learn a little bit more about asexuality. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for ace videos the rest of the week, and I will see you tomorrow.